Hockey is an action-packed sport with lots of opportunities for players to shine. Although, some NHL players might have been better off staying home instead of trying to skate with the best of the best. Here are the top 10 worst NHL players of all time. Number 10. Fraser McLaren This 6'5 left wing is a newer entry to the list, having started his career just 13 years ago, back in 2007, when he was picked up by the Worcester Sharks in the 7th round as the 203rd overall player. There, he was relegated to the AHL for development by the San Jose Sharks, but he managed to rack up 181 penalty minutes as an enforcer. He went on to make his debut in 2009 for the San Jose Sharks. However, he only scored a single point in the 23 games he played with the team. He bounced around to a few different teams and signed another one-year deal with the Sharks back in 2015, but McLaren was quickly sent back down to the minors and is now an unrestricted free agent. And with a record like his, he remains an unlikely prospect and possibly one of the worst NHL players in recent history. Number 9. Jack Lynch This old-school Canadian defenseman played for a variety of teams throughout his career, and he began as the 24th overall pick by the Pittsburgh Penguins back in 1972. Lynch later went on to play for the Detroit Red Wings, and then in 1975, he was traded partway through the season to the Washington Capitals. At the time, he had a minus 15 plus minus record, which is a way to indicate how a player impacted the game. Positive scores mean they help the team, and negative means they hurt the team's chances at victory. Minus 15 isn't so bad, but after just 20 games with the Capitals, his plus-minus score plummeted to minus 54, giving him a total of minus 69 for the season, which infuriated the Capitals and put an end to his short-lived NHL career. Number 8. John Scott John Scott is a towering 6'8 defenseman and left winger who had a surprisingly long career in the NHL, from 2006 to as recently as 2016. However, his very first game in with the Minnesota Wild was probably a warning sign of troubles to come. He couldn't actually play in his first scheduled game because he didn't have a passport. Oddly enough, he managed to stay with the team until 2010 when he was released for his poor performance. Somehow, he was able to find multiple teams and he even won the 2015-2016 NHL All-Star Game fan vote, even though he had only scored one point that season. And in his own article, Scott claimed that the NHL tried to convince him to not actually play because it would make the sport look bad. He hasn't been signed since 2016 and left the NHL with a staggering 517 minutes of penalty time over the course of his career. Number 7. Paul Higgins Higgins managed to skip the whole college league, minor league scene, and he got drafted by the Toronto Maple Leafs right out of high school as the 200th overall pick back in 1981, and he primarily acted as a fighter to dress in place of injured players. In his first season, he only played three games and racked up 17 penalty minutes. The following season, he played only 22 games and boosted his penalty time to 135 minutes, which is a pretty terrible record. Unsurprisingly, he was cut from the team after only two seasons and has never returned to the NHL since 1983. 6. Rick Giazio The Canadian-born left winger Rick Giazio was a trained boxer who started off his NHL career with the Colorado Rockies and the Cleveland Barons. Giazio only played a single season and appeared in 70 games, scoring two goals and eight assists. A pretty bad record, but what's worse was his total 71 penalty minutes. Unsurprisingly, he was relegated to the WHA, where he went on to play substantially more games. In his 137 WHA games, he managed to rack up 357 penalty minutes. It seems like he kept mixing up the sports of boxing with hockey. And in 1976, Giazio caused one of the worst moments in hockey history when he attacked Mark Tardif with his hockey stick, causing permanent brain damage. Number 5. Gary Laskowski 
The first goalie on our list, Gary Laskowski began his NHL career in 1982 with the LA Kings as their starting goalie. His career only spanned two years, and he managed a record of 15 wins with 20 losses and one tie. Laskowski had a goal against average of 4.56, which is not what you want to see from a young prospect. He also had a 0.857 save percentage, which is probably why he's now selling insurance for State Farm. Laskowski may not have been the worst player by raw stats, but his lack of drive and mediocre stats is an insult to everyone who dreams of making it big in the NHL. Number 4. Ryan Hallweg Unlike Laskowski, Hallweg had heart, lots of it. He dreamed of making it to the NHL since childhood, and his parents would drive him to neighboring towns to practice since there wasn't a local team or rink for him to practice with. His junior record was impressive, and he was drafted first overall in 1999 by the junior league team the Medicine Hat Tigers, where he won Player of the Week honors twice. He went on to be drafted 238th overall in the 2001 NHL draft and was picked up by the New York Rangers. However, after a severe concussion he sustained while playing for the Tigers, he didn't quite live up to his potential. He only managed five goals in 228 games in the NHL. After his NHL career, he tried his luck with the Czech club, the HC Plazen, but ended up retiring after only 24 games. Number 3. Hardy Astrom Astrom played for nine different teams across four different leagues from 1974 to 1986. He played in his home country of Sweden, the Central Hockey League in the U.S., the American Hockey League, and the NHL. Astrom struggled as a goalie, and he gained the nickname the Swedish Siv because of his constant failure to block shots taken from behind the blue line. His career might have annoyed fans to this day, but he still had some highlights. Astrom was the first European goaltender to start an NHL game in history, and he even had a spectacular game back in 1978 where he helped stop the Montreal Canadiens' 28-game unbeaten streak. Number 2. Bill Mickelson Bill Mickelson was a Canadian NHL defenseman player back in the 70s. He started off his pro career when he was signed as a free agent by the Los Angeles Kings in 1970, where he played 15 games over the next two years. Then in the 1972 expansion draft, Mickelson was picked up by the New York Islanders, where he ended up seeing some success. He saw some of the highest playtimes on the roster and played for 72 games with the Islanders. However, he only managed to score one goal and 10 assists and netted a minus 54 plus minus ranking, which was the third lowest rank at the time. Then, in 1974, Bill lost his spot with the Islanders and was picked up by the Washington Capitals, and it was here that his career took a nosedive. He was assigned to the minors and only played in 59 games, but he managed an abysmal minus 82 plus minus score, which remains the lowest score in history to this day. To show just how bad he was, in the almost 50 years since Bill played, no player in the NHL has even posted more than a minus 61 plus minus score. Ouch. Although he couldn't cut it on the ice, at least his kids have seen some success, with his son being picked up 31st overall back in 2005, and his daughter won gold with Team Canada twice, in 2010 and 2014. Number 1. Andre DeVoe Speaking of the Montreal Canadiens, Andre DeVoe was initially drafted by the Canadian team as the 182nd overall pick in the 2002 draft as a center. Except, he didn't actually play a single game with them for over six years, and he eventually moved to the Toronto Maple Leafs to start his NHL career. His mediocre performance caused the organization to send him to the Rangers, where numerous penalties and suspensions marred his career. He got swapped around to various teams, and in the end, he managed 104 penalty minutes in his minuscule 31 games in the NHL. In those same 31 games, he only managed three assists and an unbelievable zero goals. On top of that, 
his latest scuffle during warm-ups led to the termination of his contract, and he hasn't been signed since 2015. Every pro has a bad day, but these NHL players just couldn't cut it in the pro league. Which player's stats surprised you the most? Were there any players we missed? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give it a like and subscribe for more awesome sports content coming your way.